Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Tanek127, and welcome back to Tanek FPS. And in today's one, I got a little bit of a downer. Now, um, before we get into today's video, big special thank you to Focus Home Interactive for hooking me up with a review copy of Necromunda Hired Gun. I've done multiple projects with um, Focus Home before. Um, I checked out World War Z on my main channel for them a few years back. Very awesome, um awesome shooter um i checked out another action rpg just um a little bit earlier this year on nintendo switch and now this will be the third one i've done with them necromunda higher gun takes place in a 40k war um the warhammer 40k universe but however for this game i have to say i cannot recommend you guys spending your money on necromunda hired gun now don't get me wrong this game is fun and it does a lot of things right but there's just so much wrong with it even at its um at its uh 39.99 price tag i cannot recommend you guys buying this hopefully they release a a demo or something where it becomes a a, a game pass thing later on now granted they have addressed a lot of the bugs issues and performance problems with this game and they have said that they will be fixed but however with this you know with with this game being in this kind of current current state i i can't recommend recommend anybody to um to purchase this game so what long story short with this game is um it tries to play you know that whole single player um doom doom kind of thing it has that uh, that really awesome fun combat theme to it you can wall you can wall run in here you can double jump there's all kinds of crazy melee moves you can do the gunplay is fast frantic fun or there's a lot of crazy loot in here the game is awesome at its core all right so don't 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 get it twisted this is a fun game but it is single player um when i got when i when the pr rep for this game actually contacted me i was actually a little surprised um when she had told me that this was a single player game there's no multiplayer to it not even a cooperative multiplayer, and it's a bounty hunter type game. It also, it even borrows some elements from the looter shooter kind of games. Now, this isn't something, you know, some kind of experience I would want to do solo. Even a bounty hunter game, even if it was, you know, just strictly PvE, I would, you know, I think that would be a more fun feat with friends, you know, especially, you know, taking on certain enemies after like that, trying to go after, you know, special loot drops and and things they have all kinds of different loot rarities in here there's different items you can craft there's um special skill points to upgrade your characters abilities stats and, and all kinds of stuff this game is very rpg ish and rpg like but it's a single player first person fun frantic shooter at its core but this game's performance and i'm playing this on xbox series s it is terrible and the thing is i've also tried it on the x and you know i've seen other reviews of it on other platforms and and stuff like that do do keep in mind guys yes i own the series s i know it's the weaker out of the next gen consoles but my girl owns a series x and i personally also have a playstation 5 so i know what to expect on you know on my series s compared to the x compared to the ps5 i have my hands in all of these consoles frequently so is this isn't this isn't just you know well oh you know well it's on the sucky console you know so of course it's not going to run well no 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 the series s holds its own weight trust trust me if, if you if you own a series s you know what i'm talking about but there's a lot of people that you know that talk and speculate in that department and don't know what they're talking about anyway that's a topic for a whole another video but you guys get the point the series s there is a there is an expectation and a and a limit that you know I, I'm, I'm expecting here and this game just is not meaning it the performance is terrible multiple frame dips i even have the frame counter on there in, in the corner it's not even holding you know 60 frames per second which really isn't too good for a for a shooter now granted even you know if it was at 30 that would be fine if it was a stable 30 but the game has a frame rate cap of 60 that it's constantly trying to hit so if there was you know like a different mode i could put it on where we'll just flat out sit at 30 that would be fine because you know at least it would be a smooth buttery 30 i have no problem playing a game at 30 fps but if you're you know if you're trying to reach 60 and you're just bouncing between um 35 and 59 all day that's a little bit choppy that's a little that's going to be a bit of a, a bit of an issue so i do think you know they definitely need to come out with some options for that frame rate 
target and, and stuff like that. But the game, like I said, guys, the game's fun at its core. There's a lot of replayability here with the different contracts, working on your character, weapon customization, and stuff like that. But however, I just also feel like with the um, the mechanics and the fundamentals of this game, th these devs really slept on an opportunity. Why is there no multiplayer with this? Um, competitive or, or co-op? First off, the way the gunplay is in here, because like I said, the gunplay is fun. This could have been a solid PvP shooter, and I don't know why, for the life of me, that they didn't act on it. Now, granted, I know there's going to be somebody that pops up and says, you know, dude, not every game needs multiplayer. Da, da, da. I, I, I'm just saying, if I was a developer and I made a shooter with gameplay like this, you better believe I would deliver you the tools to use stuff like this and kick somebody's ass with it. I, that's all <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But that's just me. That's just me, me personally. I do believe, you know, that this game... Should have had some type of, you know, multiplayer aspect um, aspect to it. But like I said, guys, it's a fun game. I would definitely wait until, you know, the developers um, patch it, update it, you know, deliver some more performance updates before spending money on this. Or I would even wait to, you know, to see if Xbox makes it a Game Pass title, get a demo, or, you know, rent it if there's a physical version or something. I cannot recommend you guys to buy this game right now on its current performance. Now, I haven't played it on PC so if it performs and runs a lot better on PC and you've played the PC version, feel free to let me know down in the comments. As a matter of fact, if you have some good details, I'll probably even pin your comment to make sure that people see it. But if you're playing this on any any um, consoles, I can't recommend you spending money on this game right now. But anyway, guys, special thank you again to Focus Home Interactive for um, hooking me up with this review copy. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.